why you shouldn't buy a car right now until you see this video and even what you should do if you just want to keep your current vehicle for as long as possible so you don't have to be a car buyer right now to get something out of today's show. Many people think about year-end deals and that's not entirely wrong thinking but let me tell you why now especially this year is a great time to buy a car. We've already helped tons of people do exactly that this month. But maybe as I said in the opening, you don't want to buy a car at all. You just want to keep your existing car running as long as possible. Hooray for you if you do. If I just described you, I have great news for you. I'm going to tell you exactly how to do just that at the end of our show. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy, home of the only truly hassle-free car buying service, or as Google Voice called it recently, asshole-free car buying. I laughed when uh, Google Voice asked me, Are you looking for asshole-free car buying? I said, yes, and so would many of you. We will wrap up this subject by highlighting some mistakes you'll want to avoid making with a possible fall car deal. For all of you DIY car buyers out there, you should know that fall time, starting with September, is a great time of year to buy a car, and joining me in the studio to share some of the reasons why is the amazing Elizabeth. All right, Liz, so what did you think of Google Voice saying, did you mean asshole free car buying? <laughs> I've heard you say it like a hundred times and I'm still laughing. So let's get right into the reasons a fall deal could be right for you. At the top of the list, number one, new model year releases put big pressure on dealers to sell their current inventory. Automakers typically release their new models for the next year around late summer or early fall. By September, dealerships are eager to clear out the current year's inventory to make room for the incoming models. This creates an opportunity for buyers to negotiate lower prices on the outgoing models. And number two, why a fall deal is great. Best selection overall, while it's true that year-end deals can produce the lowest prices of the year, fall time has the best selections available and overall deals that rival a year-end deal. The reason for that is simple. The end of the third quarter marks a last-ditch opportunity for car dealers to catch up on slower sales as the car market exits the summer months. Number three, the end of quarter sales goals. As Kevin pointed out, September marks the end of the third quarter for many dealerships. To meet sales targets and earn bonuses or incentives from the manufacturer, salespeople and dealerships may offer more competitive deals and discounts. Number four, lower demand period. After the summer months when many people are on vacation or spending their time on other leisure activities, demand for cars typically decreases in September. With fewer buyers in the market, dealerships often are more willing to negotiate and offer better deals to help move their inventory. Number five, more flexible financing and lease terms. With the fall comes more flexibility with regard to financing as well. To attract buyers, manufacturers and dealerships offer more favorable financing options or lease terms starting in September. This could include zero interest down payments or other incentives that can make purchasing a car even more affordable. Number six on the list, availability of wider selection. As compared to year-end deals right now, dealers still have a good variety of both the outgoing and the incoming model year cars. Buyers can choose from a wider selection, including vehicles with specific features or colors they prefer. Combining all of these factors makes car deals starting in September a particularly advantageous time for car buyers who are looking for both value and selection. This benefit will carry over into October and November. Before we move on, I want to share a quick joke sent to us by a viewer through Facebook Messenger. The question is, you want to get back on your feet? Miss two car payments. (laughs) (laughs) Thanks, Felix, for sending that in. Seriously, now, as promised, we'll move on to sharing some of the common mistakes you'll want to avoid with your fall car deal. As we've pointed out, it's true that buying a car in the fall can be advantageous, but there are a few mistakes that car buyers should be aware of to avoid overpaying for your car or making otherwise really poor decisions. Mistake number one is focusing only on discounts and incentives. Don't do that. Mm -hmm. While fall often comes with attractive discounts and incentives, buyers can become overly focused on these deals and overlook the actual value and suitability of the car. It's essential that you assess the total cost of ownership, as in the out-the-door pricing, so never forget that. Your total cost considerations should include the cost of car insurance, vehicle maintenance, 
the rate of depreciation instead of just focusing on the upfront discount. Incidentally, if you want to know more about potential ongoing costs of maintenance of the vehicle you're considering, make a truly smart decision to hire our THG auto expert, Alex Stevens, who can tell you more things than you ever wanted to know about the mechanical ins and outs of the vehicle that you're considering. Visit our website today and find the Ask the Auto Expert on our pull-down menu and get the advice of Alex Stevens on your car selection. You'll never regret making that decision. Yeah. Mistake number two, neglecting to research market prices. Some buyers make the mistake of assuming that all fall deals are great deals, and they aren't. Without thorough research on the current market prices, buyers may not realize they are being offered a standard or even inflated price despite the advertised discounts. Tools like Kelly Blue Book or Edmunds can help determine the fair market value. You can also utilize our $49.99 consults package and get black book values on any used car in the market. Just visit our website, thehomerguy.com, to get signed up today or text Liz at 701-441-3399 and she will walk you through the steps to get you on board with us. That's right. Mistake number three, rushing to take advantage of a deal and then focusing on the payments. Fall sales events like those you saw during Labor Day can create a sense of urgency for buying, leading you to make impulsive decisions. It's important to take the time to test drive, compare your options, and carefully evaluate the deal rather than rushing into a purchase due to the fear of missing out. If you aren't working off OTD pricing because you're trying to get it done ASAP, that's a huge mistake, friends. You're leaving the door wide open to getting screwed over by a dealer. Also, don't let any dealer steer the conversation of affordability to the car payments. Always focus on the out-the-door price first. Before you go to the dealership, put your OTD price goal into a car loan calculator and know what that means in terms of car payment well before you're into OTD price negotiations. When you hit your OTD goal, you already know what your payment is going to be. So you don't need anybody to tell you. Exactly. Mistake number four, ignoring the fine print on financing offers. Promotional financing offers such as 0% interest can be enticing, but buyers often overlook the fine print, such as credit score requirements, loan terms, or other conditions. If it turns out that you do not qualify for the promotional rate, you could end up with a much higher interest rate than you expected. That's right. Mistake number five, not considering the depreciation on outgoing models. While buying an outgoing model year vehicle can offer significant savings, you should always remember that these cars begin to depreciate much more quickly once the new models arrive. So the deals you're looking at should be very sweet. This rapid depreciation influencer could affect resale value down the line, particularly if you're the kind of person that intends to sell or trade the car within three years. But please, don't do that to yourself. Trading in a car too soon can create some major financial headaches for you. As in huge negative equity. Yeah. Mistake number six, falling for add-ons and extras. Just because the price of the car looks attractive doesn't mean that you should throw caution to the wind and just buy the farm with worthless dealer products and add-ons. Dealerships may try to upsell various add-ons and extras, such as extended warranties we warn you about, crappy paint protection products, or highly overpriced gap insurance policies. Buyers may feel extra pressure to add these products to their purchase, but You've got to know at this point, you are buying junk stuff at very inflated prices. Junk. If you really want them, it's important to evaluate whether these add-ons are even necessary and be aware that they can be purchased more affordably elsewhere. And Liz, didn't we just recently receive an email from an accessory person saying, stop effing talking about our accessories. (laughs) Yeah, one line. I was like, delete. (laughs) Uh, Mistake number seven, overlooking end of year inventory considerations. While fall deals can be good, as we pointed out earlier, the best discounts may actually come later in the year, particularly in December. Some buyers may regret buying too early in the fall without realizing that dealerships could offer even steeper discounts to meet the year-end quotas. Just know that the selections will be less in December. That's right. Mm -hmm. Mistake number eight, skipping a pre-purchase inspection for used cars. Fall can also be a good time to buy used cars, but buyers can make the mistake of not getting a pre-purchase inspection, a PPI, by a trusted mechanic. Fall weather might hide certain issues, or buyers might assume the dealership's inspection is thorough enough, but it rarely ever is, pretty much never is, leading to costly repairs later on. Mistake number nine, failing to factor in seasonal changes. Many of you may not consider how a vehicle performs in fall in winter conditions. For example, purchasing a car with rear-wheel drive may not be ideal in regions with harsh winters and lots of snow if you don't know how to drive one. 
It's essential to think about how the vehicle will handle in various winter weather conditions. You don't want to be stuck in a ditch somewhere or faced with storing your new vehicle in the garage all winter long. Liz actually drove a rear-wheel drive vehicle in winter conditions, so she knows. Yes. Mistake number 10, underestimating trade-in negotiations. If you are considering trading in your old car, you might not negotiate its value as aggressively as you should. Dealers often offer a low trade-in value to offset discounts given on the new vehicle. So it's vital to negotiate the trade-in price separately from the new car deal. Yes, any time of year, that's what you should be doing. By avoiding these mistakes, car buyers like you can make more informed decisions and maximize the benefits of buying a car in the fall. If you're hearing about our hassle-free car buying service for the first time, go to our website, thehomeworkguy.com, and read all about it. Take time to read the detailed posting on what it costs and how it all works. By the way, as I mentioned earlier, maybe you're not a car owner who says, no way, I am not buying a car right now. I'll keep my current car forever. Well, that's cool with us. Let me tell you what. But if that's your goal, find our Ask the Auto Expert, Alex Stevens, on our website and get hooked up with Alex today. It's just a $75 phone call and worth every cent. Every cent. You should also know that our hassle-free car buying service is the only car buying service that saves you the hassle of going it alone with the finance officer. As Google says, it's asshole-free. Yeah, exactly. (laughs) We don't leave you hung out to dry when it comes to the dealer finance office. Also, when you hire us, either me or Liz will personally take every intake call. You get to talk directly to us, the show hosts. We don't have layers of bureaucracy between us and our viewers, and we like it that way. You will get to talk to us, and you always will. With far too many competing car buying services out there, it's the same poor service from an organization that really has no power to deliver you to anything other than their dealer referral network. And referral dealers in any network do not have to comply. Absolutely not. Exactly. Dealer referral networks have always fallen apart because dealers are renegades and they do their own thing. The same dealer can give you a great service on one deal and then totally screw you over the very next time you show up there. With services like a dealer referral network, you'll never get the best available deal. And to add insult to injury, you're still stuck with negotiating on your own in the dealer finance office. And that, my friends, is by far the worst stop you'll ever make in a car dealership. We don't ever leave you at the mercy of perfectly crooked people like that. We pre-negotiate and coach you through every single step. And to those of you out there who are thinking, you know, I'll just keep my current vehicle for as many years as I can. Or maybe you want to make the new car you just bought last as long as possible. That's perfectly fine. We're here to support you in that goal to help make sure that you get several years of service out of your vehicle. We recommend that you try a phone call with our THG automotive expert and learn what you can do to get the most out of your vehicle. If you're not 100% satisfied, we'll refund your money. No questions asked. As a former race team mechanic and a guy who has built many cars from the ground up, Alex Stevens is the real deal when it comes to cars. Thanks to all of you out there in our audience for coming back. We greatly appreciate your loyalty. And if you want our direct help in your next car deal, text Liz today at 701-441-3399. To all of our longtime subscribers, you guys rock. God bless you all. I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy, signing off on behalf of the amazing Elizabeth and the entire hassle-free Homework Guy team. Thanks for listening.